How to get rid of mothball smell, detailed guide. Are you tired of feeling like you're living in a mothball factory? Sick of that musty, old lady perfume smell taking over your home? Fear not, friend. In this video, we're going to show you how to get rid of mothball smell once and for all. So, roll up your sleeves, crack open a window, and let's get to work. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of that awful smell. Get rid of it! Remove all the mothballs and any other source of the smell from the area. This may seem obvious, but it's important to emphasize the need to remove all mothballs. This includes those that are not immediately visible. To start, do a thorough sweep of the area to identify all sources of the mothball smell. This may include mothballs themselves, but it can also include mothball scented items. Examples of such items include sachets, potpourri, or even clothing that has been stored with mothballs. Be sure to remove all items that could be contributing to the smell. Once you've identified all the sources of the smell, remove them from the area. This may involve disposing of the mothballs, sachets, or potpourri in the trash. If you have clothing or other items that have been stored with mothballs, remove them from the area. Then, air them out separately. We recommend handling mothballs with gloves. This is because these items can be harmful if they come into contact with your skin. If you're handling mothballs, be sure to wash your hands thoroughly afterward. After removing all the mothballs and other sources of the smell, do the next step. Open up windows and doors. This will help ventilate the affected area. It will cause fresh air to circulate the air in the room and carry away any lingering odors. Open up all windows and doors in the room to maximize airflow. If you have windows with screens, remove the screens to allow for more airflow. If the weather outside is particularly cold or damp, open the windows and doors for short periods. This will prevent the introduction of more moisture into the space. If there is an air conditioner or heating system in the room, turn it on. This will help circulate the air. It can also help remove any excess moisture in the air, which can contribute to musty odors. Although opening up windows and doors can help remove odors, it may not be enough on its own. Therefore, you need to also apply other methods to get rid of the smell. Use a fan to circulate air throughout the room. A fan can help move the air around the room and distribute fresh air. This can help carry away any lingering odors. It's a good idea to place the fan near a window or door. This will help draw fresh air into the space. If the room has multiple windows or doors, place the fan in a central location. Doing this will help distribute the air evenly. If possible, set the fan to the highest setting to maximize airflow. You can also adjust the direction of the fan to help direct air toward specific areas of the room. If you live in a particularly damp or humid environment, consider using a dehumidifier as well. Excess moisture in the air can contribute to musty odors. So, removing this moisture can be an important step in getting rid of mothball odor. Vacuum the affected area thoroughly. Mothball particles can settle into fabrics and carpets. So it's important to remove them as thoroughly as possible. You'll need a high-quality vacuum cleaner with strong suction power. It's a good idea to use a vacuum with a HEPA filter. This will help trap any small particles that may be present in the air. If you don't have a HEPA filter, consider wearing a mask. This will protect you from inhaling any harmful dust or particles. Next, vacuum the affected area thoroughly. This includes carpets, curtains, and any other fabric materials in the room. Start by moving any furniture or objects out of the way. This way, you'll be able to reach all areas of the room. Vacuum the carpets and rugs thoroughly. Make sure to go over each area multiple times. 
Pay particular attention to areas where mothballs were stored or where mothball odor is particularly strong. After vacuuming the carpets and rugs, move on to the curtains in the room. Use the upholstery attachment on your vacuum to gently remove any dust or particles from the fabric. Be sure to vacuum both sides of the curtains if possible. Wash all washable textile materials. Mothball particles can easily cling to fabrics, so it's important to wash them thoroughly to remove any lingering odor. First of all, gather all textile materials in the room that may have been exposed to mothball odor. This includes clothing, bedding, towels, and any other washable fabrics. Next, sort them by color and type and place them in the washing machine. Be sure not to overload the washing machine. Doing so can prevent the fabrics from getting clean. Set the washing machine to a lukewarm temperature setting or as recommended on the fabrics care label. Warm water can help kill any bacteria or odors that may be present in the fabric. Next, add laundry detergent. You may also want to consider adding an odor neutralizing laundry booster or fabric softener to the wash cycle. After washing, dry them in the sun. The UV rays from the sun can help kill any remaining bacteria or odors. It will also ensure that they are thoroughly dry. Avoid placing the fabrics in the dryer. Doing so can cause the smell to set in the fabrics instead of getting them out. If you have any delicate or fragile fabrics, such as silk or wool, consider hand washing them or taking them to a professional cleaner. Wipe down hard surfaces with white vinegar and water solution. A solution of equal parts white vinegar and water is a great way to clean and deodorize hard surfaces. Such hard surfaces include walls, floors, and furniture. The acidic properties of white vinegar can help neutralize the odor. Its natural cleaning abilities can also help remove any dirt or grime that may be present on the surfaces. Spray the mixture of white vinegar and water onto the hard surfaces exposed to the mothball odor you want to clean and deodorize. Next, use a clean cloth to wipe down the surfaces. Make sure to remove any dirt or grime that may be present. Focus on areas where mothballs were stored or where mothball odor is particularly strong. If the odor is particularly stubborn, consider letting the vinegar solution sit on the surfaces for at least 5 minutes before wiping it off. This will give the vinegar time to neutralize the odor and penetrate any lingering particles. Always rinse the cloth with clean water after wiping down a sizable area. This is to ensure that you clean out the vinegar residue thoroughly. Be sure to dry the surfaces thoroughly with a clean towel after this step. Doing this will prevent any moisture from lingering and causing mildew or mold growth. Leave bowls of activated charcoal or baking soda in the affected area. Both activated charcoal and baking soda have natural odor absorbing properties that can help neutralize the mothball odor. They can also help freshen the air in the room. Pour a layer of either activated charcoal or baking soda into a few bowls. Use enough to cover the bottom of the bowl, but not so much that it spills over the sides. Place the bowls in various locations around the room. Ensure you focus on areas where the mothball odor is particularly strong. Be sure to keep the bowls out of reach of pets or small children. You can also hang special bags of activated charcoal at heights they can reach. Leave the bowls of activated charcoal or baking soda in the affected area for 24 to 48 hours. The length of time will depend on the severity of the odor. During this period, the activated charcoal or baking soda will absorb the odor. Finally, remove the bowls of activated charcoal or baking soda from the room. Then, dispose of the contents in the trash. You can also use coffee grounds or freshly ground coffee instead of activated charcoal or baking soda. Coffee is known for its natural odor absorbing properties. Therefore, it can help neutralize the mothball odor in the affected area. Use an air purifier with a HEPA filter. Using an air purifier with a HEPA filter is an effective way of removing any remaining odors in the air. This can be done after you've already taken steps to clean and deodorize the affected area. 
An air purifier with a HEPA filter is designed to capture tiny particles like dust, pollen, and odors. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air. When selecting an air purifier, make sure to choose one that's appropriate for the room size. Ensure that it also has the airflow capacity for the space you're trying to clean. You can find this information on the product packaging or the manufacturer's website. Once you have your air purifier, place the air purifier in the affected room. Make sure it's not blocked by any furniture or other obstacles. Place it in an area where it can circulate air throughout the room. Turn on the air purifier and adjust the settings as needed. Some air purifiers may have different speed settings or automatic sensors that adjust the fan speed based on the air quality. Leave the air purifier running for several hours or even days to help remove any remaining odors from the air. The length of time will depend on the severity of the odor and the size of the room. Check the filter regularly and replace it as needed. Most air purifiers will have a filter replacement indicator or you can refer to the manufacturer's instructions for guidance. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.